have tag teams involved in the five on five match. So we'll probably see like the Dudleys. Oh, we, maybe we'll see the Dudleys and the Usos team up with like Ryback to take on uh, the New Day. Who else could be involved in that matchup? The New Day. You'll be, you you could have all three members. Um, and who else? I I don't even know. Most of your tag teams are face. Yeah, maybe you throw Rusev in there. I mean, was Ryback? No, I think Rusev is still out. He's still out. You're right. Yeah, he's still out with his injury. Who was Ryback feuding with (laughs) before before the tournament? Um, nobody. Maybe you put the Miz in there. Maybe. (laughs) Maybe the Miz. I, See, that's that's that, that's how there's bad. no. That, this is that bad. Says it, it says what WWE is doing right now. There are no talent to put into these matches. Maybe Sheamus, and when you maybe already, New Day, Sheamus, and Wade Barrett. Okay, there you go. That's that's uh, you know what I I will 100 percent agree with that. That sounds right actually. <laughs> because New Day, because uh, Sheamus and Barrett are technically a tag team right yeah, now. Yeah, they're doing that tag team thing. And, so yeah, uh, you're right. So, so New Day, Sheamus, and Barrett taking on uh, the Dudleys, uh, the Usos, and Rusev. I mean, and uh, Ryback. And, and and Ryback. Yeah, I All think right. that sounds about I can right. Go with that. And then we also and then in, you got the um, the Brothers of Destruction. Oh yes, you have the Brothers of Destruction taking on the Wyatts, and it. I'm going to say this. Why was it this? Uh, why isn't this not a four on four match? Uh, first of all, I don't know why it's a, not a four on four match. This is so you know dumb. why? I think I, I think they had to change it last minute because of the ta- of the, the the WWE title tournament. I think that was one of the reasons they may have cha- had okay, to change. Okay, but you know plan. what? They could have they could have brought in somebody. You know, they just signed yep. uh, Boogeyman to a to a Legends contract. He's still in yep. tremendous ring shape. They could have brought him back for this match. You could have brought back yep. a, a Christian or Jericho. I, I don't. It just seemed like WWE panicked. I don't like this matchup for one reason and one reason only. It's Undertaker's 25th anniversary of, of Survivor Series, so he's going to win no matter so, what. So yeah, if you have any knowledge of wrestling at all, you can predict that Undertaker and Kane are winning this matchup. And I don't like that because you keep building for a Wyatt up yep. every feud, and then you have him plummet to the ground. Yeah. And is Bray, is the Bray Wyatt going to be in this match? Oh, yeah. I think it'll be Bray. I think it'll be Bray. In my mind, I think it'll be Bray and Strowman. Probably. It make it would make That's, sense. And if it's not Bray and Strowman, I think it'll be Strowman and Luke Harper. It, it, it's, I just, it's, it's, so, it's, so, it's really, really stupid. I really just do. don't like you building Bray Wyatt up so much and building this this group, this this stable up, and then having them fall <laughs> around every single pay per view. This was the opportunity to to bring back, you know, some guys, or you know, maybe you bring back Boogeyman, which would have been yeah. would which would have been a cool twist with Boogeyman with the Wyatts, um, yep. and maybe you bring up you bring up um, the NXT champion. To be Finn the fourth, yeah, to be the fourth member of that team, absolutely. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, to make this a so two this on is, two is ridiculous. Yeah, I like I said, I'm going with Taker and Kane. I don't think you can't. I, I don't see how you could not <laughs> pick them in this matchup. <clears throat> I, I did yeah. just uh, receive non related uh, to this matchup. I did just receive um, some news that Antonio Cesaro mm-hmm. is injured. Shoulder sur- soldiers, so- shoulder surgery might be necessary, and he will be out four to six months. That's great. One of the great stars in the WWE, one of the only people that the fans are actually behind, is now injured. I just, I don't even know what to say. Everyone and their mother is being injured in that ring right now. I don't. Right. I, yeah, it, I don't it, even know what to say to this because it, it, it is. It's, it's been like an epidemic, and yep, and then complete now, epidemic. Now what do you now what do you do? I mean, you're trying. This was an opportunity, a perfect opportunity here for the mid carters to get pushed forward and to become something. 
Exactly. But I, I don't. You know think the WWE won't do that, so I, I just don't. Yeah, just, it's not going to happen. And you know, you get all these. Ta- you have no tag team matches at all, nope. except except for the match that shouldn't be a tag team. The Brothers of Destruction versus the Wyatts. That should be a four. Exactly. On, that should be a four on four. Or if you really wanted to create a one, it could have been a four on two. Yeah. You know, maybe maybe Sting comes down and. You know, that's how you can get Undertaker to lose the match. You have Sting come down, interfere in the match, you can set up a Sting versus Undertaker for WrestleMania. Yeah. I just, I, you just have everybody injured right now. Does John I, Cena come back? I freaking hope not. I don't care how depleted the WWE is right now. I do not want to see John Cena in the Does Brock Lesnar make an appearance? Does Paul Heyman make an appearance? I'm fine with both of those. I am just, I'm so... And, and, I'm, and I'm getting to this with Reigns, too. I'm so fed up and sick of being forced, uh, of having John Cena and Roman Reigns forced set down my throat. I'm so sick of it. This is too much. Too, too, and every, and, and, and too all the stars holes. that myself and any normal fan would root for is injured. Yeah. I don't care if Seth Rollins is a heel or a face. I'm rooting for Seth Rollins because he's a good athlete. Cesaro. Yeah. I don't care if he's a heel or a face. He's a great athlete. I'm rooting for him. Injured. Uh, yeah. Tyson Kidd, another guy I love to root for. A, Injured. Yeah, well, he's, Probably for his career. Yeah, he's done. He's he's going to be out for ever. So, uh, yeah. You know, and then you got the women's division. You got, you got Natalia, Sasha Banks, Naomi, uh, and um, Becky Lynch. Becky, Becky all, Lynch. All, and Brie Bella, all sitting on the sidelines watching the Survivor Series. Yep. Is like how does that happen? I, I it's just the way the WWE is booking. They now they really need to be in emergency mode because one of the only people that your fans cheer for is now going to be injured for four to six months, and he'll probably come back a little bit before Seth Rollins, probably. Yeah. Because of his style of wrestling, he's an upper body guy, and his shoulders going to need to be a hundred percent. It's it's a mess. This whole the whole situation with the roster is a mess. But this is the time, like I said, this is where you gotta you gotta really bulk up your mid card. You gotta promote these guys. You gotta get them out there. You gotta show the world that these guys can perform. You need to start promoting these NXT guys so you can rebuild yep. the mid card. Um, who cares if NXT is depleted? Yeah, I mean, just get your ass out there and start doing more recruiting and bringing more people to NXT. Which, as you saw over the last week, they're kind of doing. I mean, you saw guys like Austin Aries and Gunner backstage. Yep. And if you want to do something like this, bring up these these, these guys that are up in, in the top of NXT. Bring them up to the main card. Sign Gunner. Sign Aries. Let them take over with Samoa Joe. Let them take over NXT. Bring up Finn Balor. Bring up the rest of these guys. And let them just completely take over the WWE. You also have... Um a former guest of ours and someone that we would like to bring to big event if possible, Ziana Perrazzo. Yep. Uh, she was on last week and she'll be on the next two NXT shows. She was there for the, re- the, uh, the recording of uh, back-to-back shows and she was on both of them. So, um, uh, exactly. Just bring, bring up talent. That's, yep. you, I'm just so sick of what they're throwing out right now. And, I can't even tell you. Yeah, I've watched bits and pieces of Raw the last three months. Couldn't tell you the last time I watched a full Raw and didn't fall asleep. Yeah, and this comes and too. this is coming from somebody who used to religiously watch Raw, regardless of how tired I was. It, it needs to. They need to lose the three hours. I mean, I understand that they're doing it because of the sponsorships and the commercials, and that's where they make all their money. And but it, it's just gotten to the point where it's ridiculous. Now you you have three hours. Of Raw, you have basically an hour and twenty minutes of wrestling. Yep. And the rest is promos, backstage interviews, commercials, uh, network advertising, watching the same replay from the first hour five times. Um, it's just you know. And then what's going to happen tomorrow on Raw? Are we going to watch all the rematches all over again? Probably most of them. Well, we'll see. I know for a fact you will definitely see Tyler Breeze versus uh, Dolph Ziggler tomorrow night. That's a fact. And that's you know you'll see you know you'll see that tomorrow. Maybe you'll see a women's title match tomorrow. If not, you'll definitely at least see that match without the title online. Yeah. 
Do somebody make a return maybe tomorrow? I mean, the, the night after pay-per-views have generally been better than the pay-per-views themselves. So, yeah, maybe. The only one maybe I could really think of making a comeback would be Lesnar. He's the only one that, I would, that's out but I not hurt. Just going to say that. Maybe you see Lesnar come back tomorrow. I mean, there, I don't know if it's possible for Cena to even come back because I know he's doing his TV show. Yeah. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's just, it's horrible. It's, it's, it, it's completely horrible what's going on with this roster right but now. It, it, it shouldn't be. That's the, that's the killer point is it? it shouldn't be horrible. This should be, this should be an awesome moment yep. for the WWE, the fans, and the mid-card wrestlers. This should be the moment that everybody's been waiting for, that moment where all the big names are not there, so everybody else gets to be sh- to shine. But WWE has to allow them to shine. Exactly. You, you can't keep pushing these kids back and, and just promoting Sheamus and Rom- Ro- uh, Roman Reigns. No, nobody cares. Sheamus is a Triple H guy, and Roman Reigns is Vince McMahon's butt buddy. Ugh. When John Cena's not there. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, oh, man. I, mean, I, so I, just, I just hope Ronda Rousey in January wins her rematch and retires, and by April she's in the WWE. Oh, she's not going to rematch that soon. Yeah, January. That's the next scheduled match. For Rousey versus Holmes? Yeah. No, We're Rousey's like January or February. Rousey, Rousey's out for six weeks by the, uh, the Nevada State Athletic Board. Yeah. She's suspended for six weeks. That, that'll be over before needs, Christmas. Yeah, and then she needs a, at least an eight-week camp. Nah. They're gonna they're gonna save her for they're gonna save her for um oh not even not even just the six week thing she um rumor has that she broke her jaw in three places. I don't know. So there's no there's no regardless. I think I think Dana White will save her for UFC 200 in July. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Let's let's get yeah. her by all right. Then let's get her into WWE by next Christmas. Then then you can have your female version of John Cena. Where she can be the female Make a Wish girl, and uh, she can kick the crap yeah. out of these uh, Barbie dolls that we have in the Divas division. I completely agree. But um, all right, man, I want you to uh, enjoy your Survivor Series tonight. Thank you so much. As always, um, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we're gonna wrap this up. It's about three minutes to seven here on the East Coast. The pre-show will be starting momentarily on the, on the network. Uh, we want to thank Dave Swan. Dan Crisp of the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore, the UWA Elite, Colin West, and um, also the people over there at I Play America in the PR department. I appreciate all the help you've been giving me. And uh, we just ask that you help control the nitwit population and please have your friends spayed or neutered. On behalf of Nick the Beard and JT, whatever the hell you are, everybody enjoy the WWE pay per view. We'll be back next week with some huge. Huge, huge news. big event guest news. Um, I can't wait because this Monday we will be panning out the details financially and otherwise. So we'll have some news for everybody out there for the big event that will be joining WWE Hall of Famer Cowboy Bob Orton and indie superstar Nyla Rose. So I uh, can't wait to add some more people to this. But we got some huge news coming up that next Absolutely. weekend. So uh, everybody enjoy the pay-per-view and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Hey, 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 hey.